just got to talk go. about that council battle, though, man, because, I mean, you said this same thing two years ago. Can't You're looking anyone. better than you did two years ago. So, I mean, talk to me, homie. Hey, at one point, I wanted to kill myself because I was at my mama house. My mama used to abuse me. My mom and my dad, my dad had broke my eye socket one time. He ain't tried. I just talked to him about that. He ain't tried. My dad was a bodybuilder. He actually had broke a world, world record. Damn. Bench, bench pressing the most. Nobody on it. Yeah. Lewis Johnson is my dad. That's my dad. The man they say, South Georgia, that's Lewis Johnson. That's my daddy. That nigga did 740-something. On a bench press? 40, bro. 740. If you look at him right now, he'll do 200 push ups and nothing. Nothing. It's nothing for my daddy right now to diamond 200 push ups. But one time he used to have his temper and he hit me and he, he cracked my eye. And it, it, it's the greatest moment of my life because if my daddy, when I did this, I wouldn't be a genius. When he hit me, he was just really like going through something. And I ain't got a lie on my dad. My dad's solid. Yeah. He kicked it. I was outside one o'clock in the evening and everybody else in school. I went I couldn't go to school because I had to go to the uh head doctor or whatever. And he just so happened to just he was standing in front of me and he I guess he meant to just pop me, but I looked up at the same time. Mm. So when I looked up he cracked my shit eye and my eye came out. Nigga, what? That's him. He died man. Yeah. Fuck me up. Fuck me up. Fuck my eye. I hadn't ran into a tree before. But see, his thing about my daddy, my daddy's a superman. Mm -hmm. My brother got abused more than me. My brother, Avon, mm -hmm. way more than me. I salute Avon. I treated him shitty, too. And like, I did him kind of wrong, so I apologize to him. I yeah. I'm big on apologizing when I think of it. Yeah. But I ain't grow up like how everybody grew up. I grew up different. We ain't had shit. I've been broke before. I've been poor before. I've been homeless before. Yeah. So having cancer, I had women use me, try to use me. Cancer taught me. Had me I talked to Sean. Sean ain't heard me cry before. He know. Yeah. It's on everything. That's why I love him so much. Sean know. I was going through it, and I I, I, I ain't had nothing. I was on my mama's floor in her apartment. The first time a tumor ruptured on my mom's floor, bleeding out my ass, bleeding out my ears. Shit. Begging my mama. My mama walked in there and told me, Man, you gonna wake my neighbors up. That's all she cared about at the time. I forgive her now though, because she she told me she didn't know what to do. Yeah. Child got cancer and he might be dying right in front of me. I don't know what to do. Yeah. But I ain't talked to her and I treated her like shit for some years over that. Cause I was scared too, like. Yeah. I can show you a screenshot. I hit them. He know. I shot Sean. Sure, no, I hit my folks. Like, I'm scared, man. I think I'm dying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't smoke. I got. I hit smoke with a long. I hit smoke like, hey, man. I don't know what's going on in my life, my health. I'm hurting and I'm sick. I'll help you with whatever you got going. Cause you, you not sick, smoke. I help you. I write you whatever you need me. I asked him, God want him to win like that. Yeah. And I know he don't give a fuck if I win or not. You know what I'm saying? That's the most hurtful thing in the world to me. I can see, I'm going to see Smoke on over and I'm going to do the show with him. But I'm always think, man, you ain't give a fuck about me. I'm going to think that when I see my mama. My homeboy just lost his mama. He don't even know, man. I, look, I feel bad for him. I don't know what having a mama feel like. I don't even know what having a brother feel like. I adopted him. Shit, he, if you, when, when you know him, you will love him, right? But he's so straightforward mm -hmm. that he argumented because he don't know how to be fake. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people don't know how to fake it. Mm -hmm. And people thinking they like negative or asshole. No, they not. They just don't know how to fake it. They don't yeah. know how to be halfway real with you. Yeah. So because you're not halfway real, halfway real is solve a lot of problems. Kissing ass, oh boy, you might know somebody got a hundred dollars and you ain't got no dollars and you need ten. You kiss the head. I don't want to do that. Bro, just be who we be. I'm glad. No lie, y'all. I don't care about none of y'all. They'll be at home talking about my teeth and my skin on this show. And you know what I be thinking? I beat your puss ass. You see him. 
See him not because when you see him, you're going to get to see him again. It's going to happen. God has never let me down. He might let them down. I know who's going to be the next nigga. I told T. Pine, I knew T. Pine was going to be the next nigga. I know a lot of rich niggas. But trust me, my hospital bills is only like $125,000 if any one of y'all real rich ass Richard <laughs> Millie nigga wanted to change my life. $125,000 would change my life. But I ain't got it, and it ain't your business to owe me that. But I'm just saying. Yeah. He gonna be next. Mm -hmm. His brother, he gonna be next. That family, that's them. Them boys are legends, man. That ain't no accident, man. This ain't no fake, man. I do a lot of shit. I talk a lot of shit, bro. This is not even, no way you faking nothing. Then this how you is. This him. This me. Sick of being lonely originally with Ashanti. <laughs> Break that down to me. I freestyled a song because Jazzy was in there and I was like scared to tell Jazzy. I, like I always thought of songs. Yeah. But I was scared to just say the songs I thought of because I couldn't sing. Mm. And I just was like, <laughs> so I pulled Jazzy Pay out the room. Like, hey man, let me tell you the hook I got. Yeah. I said it to him. Jazzy was like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> I swear. Went right in that bitch. He did other shit to it, and boom. Cause Jazzy Faye really, he don't get credit a lot of credit for that record like that. Yeah. But he the one that made me like trust me. Yeah. I ain't trust. Damn. Me. You know some shit coming yeah, you so easy. Jazzy Faye is the reason why I trust me. Trust me because he was like him and Grand Street. Mm -hmm. Cause all I know is the same thing. If you listen to all I know at the end, I'm singing the hook. Yeah. That was the hook we sent to CeeLo. Mm -hmm. That was the only time I did it. I didn't want to do it, but but when I hear a song, I know I'm supposed to be on it. Yeah. That's just how I did. Everybody record different, but I, you just see you put me in them vibes. Mm -hmm. I need to talk, you know what I wish I could do with you? Everybody that talk to you every Monday. You need to be a nigga that you talk to. Every Monday, you need to talk to you. You will make my day so much better, bro, because I have shit I don't even know I had thought about. That yeah. is on my chest. Yeah. And talking to you, you like, well, you, you right. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, I fuck them. You right. I don't need to do it by life that negative. You help me. I feel you on that, too. You help a nigga. Now you help a nigga get in their mind, bro. You go. I feel like off topic. You gonna change music and some kind of like like this ain't nothing. This, yeah. This is something. Well, see, my goal, Sean, before I run up out of this thing, because I don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this shit. You see what I'm saying? You gonna But before I get up out of here, I just want, just like I said, the hip hop thing. I want the folks that got the talent, that got the skills to be heard. I want the people, the yeah. stories that need to be told, be told. And I'm trying to make the damn odds even because there's no reason why every man who is a god is not represented as one. You see what I'm saying? I just want a Johnny Dane grill, 300,000, a nice car, hey, see y'all do it. Did I see how simple I am? Come on. All I want is the simplest things. Cancer took my hand, my teeth, my eyebrow. I can still get your bitch too. This some crazy <laughs> shit, bro. Hold the fuck my eye. Hey man, when my eyebrow fell came out, I was thinking about, it. hmm. Like I felt <laughs> like that how I felt. Like I was walking around like, hmm. <laughs> bro, I was so hurt when it happened, I laughed. I, I think I went crazy that day because yeah. I laughed about that shit. Like, damn, I, I went, I watched my face. I see hair in the sink. I ain't thinking nothing of it. Yeah. Like, so I keep going. That guy right there, listen. I look, I had one eyebrow. The eyebrow were actually defiant. He held on good. <laughs> I had to cut him down to make up for this. Yeah, one. yeah. I was looking like I was the rock. <laughs> now, you know how the rock had the eyebrows gone? Yeah. I was looking at the rock. But, but that's natural, nigga. I got looks, family members that ain't got no eyebrows either. God did that for me it's because real. my real, you got to meet me. You got to be yeah. like, like, my beauty ain't going to be that no more. Yeah. But I don't need that. I got Player G. I got Guala. I got yeah. I, you, bitch, you want to look at something? <laughs> look at my brothers. Come on. See, I live different than y'all niggas. See, you see this black guy nigga with all that gold, right? 
Man, I, 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 I know this boy, man. I'm proud of him. That's why I really want to. I don't care what y'all think at home. I'm trying to get anything where Guala <laughs> going to talk to y'all. I'm going because guess what? I don't care about what you're talking about. I know he let me do this interview. He so love, show it off. But y'all at home, you ain't who I'm worried about. You ain't even on this caliber, man. You at blues and 50s. Blues and 50s. 